Shalom, family trendsetter. I'm at work, so you possibly might hear some noise in the background, as well as I do have a tendency to struggle for words when I speak. Now, real quick, I wanted to talk about this government shutdown. I'm sure a lot of y'all are probably tired of hearing about it, but I want to give you a different take on it. Now, it's been, what, 20-something days now and counting since the government has shut down. And to, for me, I believe it's not coincidental, family. Now, we already know Putin and Donald Trump your president, the commanding thief, have a relationship going on. Now, what kind of relationship? I don't know. I suspect that Donald Trump is possibly a double agent. You know what I'm saying? If you really think about it, the government is shut down. So now we have a crisis where you have a lot of federal government employees losing, you know, pay, of course. And then you're going to have subsidies that's going to be cut. That's the first thing. The second thing your commanding thief is in bed personally with Putin, not probably literally, but he's in league with the Russian president. Why? Because I personally believe that Russia has something over Donald Trump. If you notice, the, uh, just the other day, Donald Trump decided he's going to pull the troops out of Syria. Now, for those of you who don't know, you're about to find out, right? Russia is in Syria helping Assad fight off these invaders because you have other you know entities trying to come in like you have Israel trying to come in and overthrow Assad to take over that region. And a lot of y'all don't know that Syria is has bi biblical references, but I'll go into that in another video. So you have Russia that's allied with Sy the Syria president, right, which is Assad. So in other words, Russia is fighting side by side with Assad to, to allow him to continue ruling that particular region. At one point, you had the U.S. military fighting against Assad. But because you have Russia now defending Assad, now you have Donald Trump, your president, your commanding thief, decide, you know what, to help assist Russia in defeating the invading forces. I'm going to help him by pulling out the U.S. troops. You have to read between the line family. So what he have done, he have pretty much said, OK, what I'll do to help facilitate this. I'm going to shut down the government. So all the aid that the military would have gotten, right, they're not going to get it anymore. This is one of the reasons why he's talking about, you know, um, declaring a state of emergency or whatever, some kind of emergency, some kind of crisis because it's dumbass border water he want to build. Why? Because he want to tap into the funds, the emergency fund that actually fund the military. So if he declares some kind of emergency, right, since the, the, the Democrats is not giving him what he want, now he could declare some kind of emergency and he can tap into that military fund that's supposed to be set aside in the event, you know, something major happened and the government is shut down like it is now. They can actually use that emergency fund to help fund the military. But if Donald Trump decides he's going to continue with the shutdown and and declare an emergency, right, whatever state of emergency or whatever emergency now he's able to go and tap into the emergency fund and that also will take away from funding the military, making it easy for Russia or China to invade America. So you see, you dumbass patriots that went and voted for Trump. And I know for the most part, I'm going to give the uh, white American citizen the benefit of the doubt. I know. As dumb as y'all are, y'all wouldn't dare vote this idiot in the office because I see a lot of people talking against him. A lot of so-called white people, which y'all really not white. Y'all different shade of red. So I'm going to give y'all the benefit of the doubt and say, you know what? I don't think these people really voted for Donald Trump. We already know that Russia had a, a hand in him, you know, being president because like, once again, Hillary. Right. If I didn't mention it before in the video, Hillary hated Putin and Russia had more to gain by allowing Donald Trump to be president could had Hillary would have won then Putin ass would have been on the fire because remember America was going after Putin and y'all forgetting about one key component remember Snowden where is Snowden residing at right now in Russia did y'all know that um, Snowden is residing in Russia and pretty much he's given information intel to Putin, this is why you see Putin is pretty much, you know, aware of what's going on in the United States of America, because that guy Snowden is actually giving him intel. It's just so deep. I don't want to go too much into it because I don't want no black cards parking in front of my house and shit. You know what I'm saying? When you when you say too much on each channel, 
you become a target. I'm already a target. You know what I'm saying? People telling me to be careful, you know, stop saying certain things, but it is what it is. If you ain't willing to die for something, you know what I'm saying? You'll die for nothing. So my thing is this, family. You need to pay attention to this government shutdown. It's a facade. I personally believe Donald Trump is a double agent. I think this man needs to be arrested for treason because he is working with the Russian government to overthrow America. I'm telling you, just read between the line. I know it sounds crazy, but a lot of people are seeing it. Donald Trump is not who you think he is. Donald Trump originally was a Democrat, but I personally believe he became a Republican to buckle the, 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 the Republican Party. You know what I'm saying? And again, I don't think the average American went out and voted for Donald Trump because remember that Hillary bitch, she had the popular vote. You know what I'm saying? So y'all have to really and truly understand this shit is by design. Putin is more powerful than y'all think. Okay, Russia is the new superpower alongside with China. But I just want to come on here to give you my take on it. Really think about this government shutdown. They're going to tap into that emergency fund. And when that happens, this country is going to go into, forget about a recession, it's going to go into a depression. Mark my word, it's going to be civil unrest. And this is when they're going to usher in martial law. And they're going to have an excuse now to round us up because you have Russian, you have, I'm sorry, not Russian troops, you have um, international troops already here. You know what I'm saying? European troops are already here on the ground. This is why they're sending all these U.S. troops all over the, uh, all over the middle, so-called Middle East because they want to bring, you know, European troops here to usher in martial law. With that, I say shalom.